Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Teacher Michael from TeacherMichaelOnline.com and today's video is going to be a Zoom tutorial for online teachers. This is by no means a comprehensive tutorial on Zoom. There are a lot of functions, a lot of features that I'm not gonna be able to cover in this video, but I thought I would take some time today just to go over some of the basics. These are the things that helped get me through some of my first online classes with Zoom, and I'm hoping they'll do the same for you. By the end of this video, I'm hoping that you're gonna know how to create and host a class or a meeting on Zoom. I'm also gonna show you how to connect your webcam, your headset, and your microphone, if you have any of that equipment. I'm also gonna go through how to screen share, so that if you need to share a Word document, a PDF file, a slideshow, or photos, anything like that, you're gonna know how to do it. And finally, at the end of the video, I'm gonna give you a few tips for classroom management. These are just a few little tools in the Zoom interface that are gonna make your life as a teacher just a little bit easier. If you get curious during this video about any of the technology that I use in the classroom, such as this little video conference light here, or my headset, my microphone, anything like that, I'm gonna leave all of the links in the description down below. One final thing before we get into the video, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. That really is one of the best ways to support a channel like mine, and if you're interested in the world of online teaching, I would love to see you back here again. So please, hit the subscribe button, and then we're gonna get into the video. First things first, if you haven't downloaded the Zoom app, now is the time to do it. I'm gonna be sharing my screen with you, so if you wanna follow along, make sure that you've downloaded the app and you have it up on your computer. All right, so here we are on my computer. First things first, you're gonna open the Zoom app. This is what it looks like when you open it up. And step one is to invite your students to join your classroom. So for me, I actually teach on OutSchool. That's how I was first introduced to Zoom. So when I am hosting an OutSchool class, OutSchool actually sends me an email that has a link to my Zoom room. So that's what I follow in order to get into my classroom. So they make it super simple. If you are not in that situation and you actually have to make contact with your students or the parents of your students and email them the link, here's how you do it. So under the new meeting tab, there's this little drop down and you can just hit copy invitation. And when you email that to your students, that'll give them a link, it'll give them the ID for your room, it'll, actually I'll show you what that looks like. Uh, it'll give them a little password if they need it. So basically all of this information that you see on the screen here, um, that will go to them through their invitation. You can also copy link here and send them the invitation that way. So I'm gonna pop this on full screen. And there's a few things that I like to do right away just to get myself set up before the class starts. And one of those things is to go down here to participants. And right now it's showing only one because I'm the only one in the room. But um, down here on the bottom right, there's a little drop down menu that says more. So there's a few different options here. I like to mute all of my students upon entry so that if they enter the classroom and there's commotion in their house, we're not gonna be bombarded with all of that noise. So they're all gonna start on mute. Um, the next one, I'm gonna allow the students to unmute themselves. So if I ask them a question, they can click unmute and then respond to me. I also like to play a sound when someone joins or leaves the room, just so that I know, oh gee, someone left or someone is arriving. Uh, I like having that little auditory indication. Um, I also want to enable a waiting room. So if one of my students shows up early, they won't jump into the classroom with me while I'm not ready, while I'm still getting everything set up. Uh, they'll be popped into a waiting room and then it's up to me to admit them into my classroom when the time is right. So those are a few things from that end that I like getting set up beforehand. The next thing I need to make sure is that my camera is connected, my headset is connected, and my microphone is working. So here's how I do that. Let's start with video. In the bottom left, uh, this will show me all of the video options that I have. So let's put my FaceTime camera on. Whoops. And this is what it looks like. This is a horrible image, by the way. Uh, <laughs> 
This is the built-in webcam on my 2012 MacBook Air. So take that for what it is. Your image will probably be a lot more crisp. Um, I didn't notice this downgrade in quality until I started teaching with Zoom. For the last three and a half years while I was teaching with VIP Kid, it hasn't been a problem, but uh, only recently have I invested in a webcam. So I have my webcam plugged in. It's a USB webcam and it's called the Livestream Cam 313. And it automatically showed up here when I connected it. So if I do that, I mean, the image is just <laughs> so much better. I'm gonna kill the video because it's lagging a little bit here. Um, my computer's, like I said, really old and really slow. Um, but that's the camera. So you wanna make sure that your camera works. Next thing is audio. So if I click here, this little menu, it'll give me two separate boxes here. The top box is my microphone, and then the bottom is my speakers, how I'm gonna hear my students. So the built-in microphone at up top here, if you don't have a lot of external noise, I'm sure that's gonna be fine. That's just your webcam's um, built-in microphone. But down here, I don't want my students coming through my computer speakers. I wanna hear them in my ears. So I've got these little Bluetooth earbuds so I'm gonna pop those in, and these are called the Tri-Bit Flybuds 1. So when I click on that, um, it'll put a little check mark there. So now I know that I'm gonna hear my students in my earbuds. They're gonna hear me through the, <clears throat> excuse me, through the microphone on my computer, and they're gonna see me on my uh, external webcam. One thing that I did forget to do during my first screen recording was to show you how to test your audio and your microphone just to make sure that everything is working properly. So here's how you do that. In the top left, if you click uh, the Zoom US button and then go to Preferences, that'll get you into this screen. And here you can toggle back and forth between video and audio. Um, what we want to test right now is the microphone and the speakers to make sure that everything's working properly. So under speakers, you can see um, Tribit Flybuds. That's what's in my ear. That's what I want. And then the microphone, it'll tell you where your microphone or where your audio is coming from. So in this case, it's the built-in microphone on my laptop. That's exactly what I want. If I, was, if I had a headset that had a mic, uh, this is where I would connect that headset. And then you just hit test mic and it'll do a quick little recording. It'll play it back through the speakers and hopefully you'll be able to hear yourself and then you'll know that your audio is working right. Your students are gonna be able to hear you and you're gonna be able to hear them. So that's how you test that part of it. So that's my video setup. That's my audio setup. Now I'm gonna pop it back on full screen here. And let's see what happens when one of my students takes the email invitation that I sent them. Um, so I'm gonna do that now. And I'm gonna join my own class. So now down below we have two participants. So uh, you can see all your students here. So why don't I go ahead, I'm actually gonna put on my terrible webcam video and I'm gonna start the camera on my phone. Okay, here we go. Here's the gallery view. Uh, just gotta turn this microphone on. There, start video. So, here's my student. Perfect, attentive, doesn't talk back. What a wonderful student. Um, <clears throat> at the top here, you can toggle back and forth between speaker view and gallery view. I like speaker view just because it puts all my students in little boxes so I can see all of them uh, relatively at the same time. And then uh, here's another useful function here is the chat room. So I can choose to chat to everyone or I can select students individually and say, actually, I just want to talk to Michael and it'll tell me that you're speaking with him privately. Hi, Michael. How are you? Uh, and then I can go back to speaking to everyone if I want. So, so far we've admitted the students, we've created the room, we've made sure that the video and the audio are all working. Now, let's see what happens if we want to share our screen. So down at the bottom here, you can click share screen. 
And this is going to give you all of the options that are available to you. So right now I have Microsoft Word and I have some photos open. And this is from my circus and juggling class. So I'm going to go ahead and share that. And this is what happens. Again, on the uh, side here, I can click, whoops, I can click back and forth between uh, the different views. So I like to keep my students there at all times just so I can see them, make sure they're paying attention. And then I can cycle through uh, the images just by pushing the arrows, arrows on my keyboard. Now when you're finished sharing it, when you're, when you're done going through your slideshow or your Word document or whatever, you just click stop share and that'll stop the share. Um, if you go in here and you want it, let's say you wanted to share these photos, um, there are instances where they won't be there. And this is probably the most likely reason why uh, is because you don't have the files open. So if I X out those photos there and then I go back to screen share, um, you can see that those photos aren't available for me to share. And that's simply because I don't have those files open. So if you're sharing a PowerPoint or something like that, or a Word document, again, if I close out Microsoft Word, just double check that. Yeah, so it's not there anymore. Um, so that is screen sharing. I don't know what else you really need to know for your first couple of classes. You know how to share your screen now. You know how to chat with your students. Um, let's close this. Uh, what else was there? Oh yes, I guess uh, showing you how to mute everyone. So if everyone's just going crazy, you can hit mute all. And if you don't want to allow your students to unmute themselves for, you know, a moment of time, you can uncheck that box. I'm just going to leave it checked. Um, but that's how you m mute all of your students. Anyway, that is it. When you're done your class, you just say goodbye to everyone. Uh, the students will leave. Let's see if I can leave the meeting. Um, and then it shuts it down for everyone. So I can just click end. End meeting for all. And we're done. So that is it. That is the just a very basic Zoom tutorial. I really didn't want to overload you with information or all the bells and whistles. To be perfectly honest, I'm still learning some of them myself, but um, those are just some of the most common and the most basic things you're going to use in your online classroom on Zoom. Sharing the screen, making sure your students can see and hear you, muting everyone if things get crazy, and then, uh, yeah, ending the meeting when it's done. And that brings us to the end of the video. I do hope that you found that helpful or useful in some way. And if you did, please let me know in the comments down below. If you didn't subscribe to my YouTube channel at the beginning of this video, now is the time to do so. I'm gonna be posting more videos about the world of online education, the technology I use, the companies that I'm working for. So if you're interested in that type of content, please subscribe to my channel. That's all from me. Thank you all so much for watching. Have fun teaching. And until the next video, I will see you on the internet. Peace. Yeah.